<clears throat> Hi, everybody. <laughs> I am at the, the Holiday Inn <laughs> in, uh, in Halifax. I, uh, I made arrangements to take uh, two of the girls up from the Thistle for a special rock concert that's going on tonight. And uh, anyway, we're having a storm in Pictou County. We're uh, supposed to have like 32, 32 centimeters of uh, snow, 15 inches, I guess, and high winds. And anyway, uh, rather than take a chance and driving back through, because I don't have the winters on the Jeep yet. I don't, don't get them on until the end of the month. So anyway, I took them up and dropped them off at their hotel. And then I booked a room here. Uh, There's not much sense in me going back because I got to come back in and take them away in the morning. So this way I'll get a night off for myself. And I'm going to go to an IMAX movie tonight and see Ghostbusters at 7.30. And um, anyway, I haven't stayed in the hotel for, oh my God. I can't remember. It's got to be 15, 20 years ago. So my original plan was to drive down and uh, drop them off. But uh, I uh, I said, well, I said, you know, I'll just, I'll just drop them off at their hotel in Halifax. And then I'm just, I'm outside the city in this one. Uh, everything is booked because of this big concert. There's like 10,000 people going to that concert. So anyway, uh, no raccoons last night. We had about four, and that's all that showed up. When I get up this morning, there was still hot dogs on the on the deck. Um, I took the igloo and put it in the uh, in the barn because uh, I didn't want it to get full of snow. And uh, I damp emptied the buckets uh, of the water, and I put them in a closet because if I don't, Connor gets eaten out of them, and I don't want his mouth where the raccoons were. So. Lots of cat food put down, litter box emptied, emptied, and they're fine, the two cats. The heat's on for them. I let my neighbors know that I uh, won't be home, so they'll keep an eye on the place. But uh, there'll be no raccoons tonight if we get that snow. Uh, I notice they're coming less and less now. So I would say another week or so, they'll be gone for the winter. So anyway, I am uh, near the Halifax airports where I'm staying at the Holiday Inn Express. So I've been on here doing Facebook stuff and uh, emails, and I've been doing it for the last couple of hours now. So, And uh, the show starts in two, three hours. So again, I'm going to stop at a restaurant before I go in there. So anyway, uh, Jim's having a night off. <laughs> so when the when the concert's over, they'll go. They'll just go to their hotel, and I don't know what they're. I don't know what they get planned. But anyway, I want to hear from them until the morning, until they're ready to get picked up and head back. And uh, I treated them to a uh, winter jacket each. They had no coats here when they arrived, uh, this had these little lumberjack shirts on. And I mean, it's cold out. So I bought each of them a, a winter coat from sports check from the uh, Halifax uh, shopping center. So so anyway, uh, the, the, the one that does the cook D she's all, she's all excited because this is a big deal for her to come the big concert into the city and everything. So, yeah, I'll have buttered popcorn. I'm going to the IMAX. Uh, I'm going to watch Ghostbusters in the IMAX. Never done that before. So this is something new for me to see that. So I forgot my other camera. So this, I'm just using the one on the laptop. It's not that good, but it will get me through. So uh, uh, first thing... <laughs> The time I last time I was in a hotel, I had to use a key. I had no idea what this was for. <laughs> Didn't know how to use it. I was looking for a slot to put it in, and I guess you just hold it up to the the door handle and it opens. But uh, this is your key to a wonderful stay, it says. But anyway, that's uh, there's two of them. 
and the Wi-Fi was easy to get on. I just had to load up what room number I was in, and it automatically connected me. Put your last name in. So well, anyway, um, the fridge is empty. There's nothing in it. Uh, some places have a bar fridge, but I I wouldn't. I don't want nothing out of there anyway. There, there's not even a bottle of water in it. So, but I got my own water here. I took my thermos. Um, if any of you guys buy those uh, Raccoon Whisper thermoses, they are really good if you're going to keep water in them or something hot because I I use mine a lot and uh, the ice will stay in it 24 hours. So that's not bad. You know, it stays cold all that time. Uh, Ken, you're in Halifax, are you? <clears throat> so you know where Bears Lake is. That's where I'm headed for. So... Yeah, it's your favorite place. <laughs> the door, oh, to unlock the door, no keys. Yeah, I found that out. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to go back down to the, uh, the the desk and find out how in the hell do you open this door. But uh, she, uh, I gave her one of my raccoon cards, and she was happy to get that, and the lady was on there, and... It's funny, you know, as soon as um, they see the picture, they know exactly who you are because uh, they've seen the video at one time or another. And we met people um, from my area where I live, like in, in uh, Plymouth Churchville area. So we met them and uh, we chat with them at the sports check there. And we stopped for breakfast at the big stop in Enfield and had treated them breakfast on the way up. So they had some kind of a, a poutine breakfast, I think it was. So the, but it was a big meal. So anyway, it's going to be a quiet night for me. <laughs> They're going to be partying hardy. I know they are. <laughs> They're supposed to send pictures. I think they're sending them on the phone, but I don't see them on their, I don't see it on their Facebook or nothing. So. Must be just between the phones that they're doing it. So. Hi, Devin Harrison. Well, welcome to uh, being a new uh, subscriber. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be a nice, relaxing night for me. I'll be my feet up watching TV when I get home. So I haven't had it on yet. I've been watching videos on the on this thing. So I like watching the uh, car chases and stuff like that, you know. <clears throat> Joyce Barber, how are you? She's from Connecticut. And uh, Georgina Fleming. The woods behind you is real deep. Yes, it is. It's a uh, it's so thick that you can't walk through it. The, the branches are all touching. You can't go between the trees. Is that bad? So yeah, they got. Uh, but the they uh, they have their own dens that they make in the ground, and they have hollowed out trees and uh, they have wonder buildings. And hi, Joanne Wheeler. How are you? Adrian Carpenter, Mark Woods, Jamie Lynn, Stephen R. Have you ever watched Bait Car? Yes, I have. I thought that was neat. That's when the fellow steals the car and then they shut it off. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Karen. How are you? <clears throat> Mike from Regina. I liked it in Regina, Mike. I found that a very nice city, easy to maneuver through because everything's Runs north, south, east, and west. There's no no confusion of where you're going. Oh, you got a Norwegian forest cat, Kristen. Good for you. They're beautiful cats. I read all about how smart they were, and uh, that's one thing. Connor's super smart, but he won't miss me tonight. They'll be sleeping all day, and then they'll they'll be eating and going to the litter box and 
sleeping on. When I'm not home, that's all they do is sleep. Well, when I'm home, that's all they do is sleep. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice city, Halifax. But, you know, I find um, the traffic bad, you know. Like, there's too much traffic for me. I'm used to the country. So. Marty Bauer from Kansas, U.S. Uh, Glitter Girl, Lemon Lime, Happy Birthday, Rabbit Lover, okay. Kissy Cat. Connor jump in your suitcase. <laughs> I don't think I'd be allowed to have Connor here. I had him out to a motel once. Uh, him and uh, I had to take him and Charlotte out, but just for one night. <clears throat> you missed the beginning, Joyce. I am in uh, the Holiday Inn Express Hotel. Uh, just outside the city of Halifax. I'm right next to the, uh, the Halifax airport. So I hear the jets going over over top. Yeah. Hello from Russia. Das Vidanya. <clears throat> Hello from Quebec. Matthew Belanger. Leafs forever and ever. <laughs> the lady like my... Uh, Boston Brown jacket. I just see I got to get that thing washed. It's getting dirty. Um, that that jacket just throw in the washer. You don't dry clean it, so it's easy to clean. But when I go for the show tonight, there's a place there. Uh, I bought some stuff there the last time I was in. I got a flag and mugs, and, and I'm going to buy some more Boston stuff tonight. I don't know what I'm going to get yet. I'll just see what they got. And. Um, they got every team there. It doesn't matter if it's football, basketball. They got everything. So uh, that's where a lot of my stuff ha comes from that I have at home. Hi, Jim from Boston. Peter Gonsalves. Dever R., the Scooter's biggest fan. Yeah, well, Scooter's, <laughs> Scooter's little house is in the shed. I put it out there for now until I uh, see what's what this storm is going to do. No, I think Scooter would go if I let him. Hello from Oregon. Susie. There's a, there's a Susie I chat with all the time from uh, Oregon. So I won't be talking to her today because I, I can't call with my cell phone. It's... Uh, it's a uh, long distance on that. My house phone isn't. Okay, Garrett Red Red Redecker from the Netherlands. Did you bring some hot dogs? No, no hot dogs tonight. I know one thing I did. I cooked the rest of those corn dogs up and I threw them out too. They ate what was there, and then oh yeah, they had a big piece of fish from the thistle bar and grill. I had an extra piece, so I put that out and they ate that. So, with ketchup on it. <laughs> yeah. Robin Foreman, greetings from England. Uh, Christina Hall from Palm Bay, Florida. Oh, Susie Lindstrom. Hi, Susie. From Seattle. What are you doing up? You always sleep in. She's a night owl. Uh, you have been offline for a few weeks, Mike. Okay. Yeah, my my uh, ex-wife that just died uh, last week, she was from England. A uh, little small town called uh, Layston which is uh, not far from Ipswich. That's, that's where they were from. Uh, her mother was a roar bride, and they moved over to Canada after the war. She passed away here about a week ago. She was uh, she was ill since 87 with a mental illness. So. Joanne Wheeler. Thank you, Joanne. 
some of these names I can't even try to pronounce. <laughs> yes, I do, Stephen. <clears throat> Hello from Sandy and John. Uh, tune in from, oh, you're tuned in from Halifax. Okay. So we're not far away from each other. Yeah, that thumbnail picture. I'm trying to get the new postcards made with that. Um, I like that one with the two raccoons sitting on my shoulder. Hello, Jill. How you doing? You got your uniform on tonight? <clears throat> Yeah, uh, you like the mustache? Well, I'm losing it the, on the 30th. The November will be over and it'll be gone. <clears throat> I'm in Halifax because I transported two of the Thistle girls to a concert. That's why I'm up here. And I promised them I'd run them up. The, their vehicle wasn't uh, safe enough to... Uh, to drive up here, so I offered to take them up. And uh, because of the bad weather that's back home, I uh, decided to stay here the night. And then that way, I don't have to make another trip through that weather to go get them. As I told them, I picked them up in the morning, take them back home. Uh, we dro I dropped them off at the Thistle. That's where their vehicle is. So <clears throat> what's going on here? Cold air just kicked in. <laughs> I got air conditioning. <laughs> oh, it's set for 20 degrees. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it be. Yeah. And of course, I'm sitting right in front of it. <clears throat> Uh, it's about 75 in Houston. It is, what was it this morning? It was below freezing this morning around 24, 25, around there. Because my buckets were both frozen. Yeah, no, I just, uh, I was looking for a picture to put there in the thumbnail. And that's all I had. So I just shoved that in there. I didn't even have, I usually, if I'm doing a live by myself, I'll, uh, Put the raccoon whisper thing. I didn't even have one of them up, so yeah. <clears throat> you need your new jacket. Actually, uh, the Boston Bruin was fine. I put the hood on it today. It's a warm coat, and I got heavy gloves, and I got the the big hat to pull down, and I'm all, I'm all geared up for the winter. Yeah. There's Big John. How you doing, buddy? I just I just missed your message there. I just it went by so fast I didn't get a chance to. You can send me a message there, John, if you want to tell me what you saw. There. Hi, 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 Irene. How are you? Irene is one of my moderators. This is a mini vacation, the one very few I get because um, uh, I get a little bit when the raccoons go for good. And uh, but once if it, we get a lot of snow, the deer come, and then I have to look after the deer. Then so I don't have to, but I don't want the you know the hard if the snow is deep, it's hard to find food in the woods. So I. Uh, I get uh, cut up apples for them, crack corn, and some deer feed. So, yeah, the moderators are doing a really good job. Yeah. John, okay, what are you saying? Hi, John. You're saying hi to Jill and them, okay, and Irene. So anyway, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that blind down after. It's kind of 
I don't know if I can get it down or not. How do you how do you make this go down? Oh, that's going on. That's not right. Oh, there's an inner blind too. I gotta play with this chain. There we go. There's two chains. There's a there we go. Look at that. <laughs> and then there's a light here that I can use. I can dim it, so I'm there. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go for, uh, I'm going to go to that movie. Yeah, I watch Highway Through Hell a lot. Yeah, I like that show. Yeah. Heather from New Zealand. How many days you stay in hell? Five? Just the one. I just I, I got here this morning and uh, and we're leaving tomorrow morning. Uh, I have to once uh, I check out here in the morning, then I go to Halifax. And I got to pick up the two girls and run them back to the to the thistle and drop them off. Yeah. Uh, just finishing eating two beef hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. Your comments. Oh, you can, okay. Good trucker. Keep on top of it, buddy. Good, good job you're doing. Yeah. Dizzy Bird. Thank you. I'll stay safe. From the UK. <clears throat> fush, fush, carrot. How old am I? Well, you're not supposed to ask me that. <clears throat> Another one asked me how old I am. Push, push, carrot, same one. Oh, yeah. John, if you can grab a hold of him, knock him out of there, will you? One is. He's just asking the same question over and over again. <clears throat> That's right, Jill. You got it right. <clears throat> I got a call yesterday from uh, a credit card company. He said I owed them $12,000, and uh, I never ever heard tell of the credit card company before. And uh, I said, you got the wrong number. And they said, well, yeah, it's you. And he's going to call the police. I said, well, then call them then. <clears throat> Listen, tell them to come on down. <clears throat> My God, there's a lot of people out there calling on the phone looking for money like scam artists. And I got a private number, but they still get through somehow. <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing Movember, but uh, no, I don't like it either, John. I'm going to whip it off. I used to wear one all the time when I was in the police force, but I got then anyway. I like my face clean shaven. There's a lady down in uh, in Pennsylvania wants it off too. <laughs> Thanks, John. I see you got him. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, I'll see him in the review room, and you know where he's going. <clears throat> Out the door. <clears throat> What's for dinner there? I'm going to a place called Montana's. It's a steak place. And I don't get to go there very often, maybe once a year, so I'm going to go down there and try it. The raccoons are sleeping right now. They're, they're not the only one or two come out, but they were wild ones. But uh, mine are all mine are all off sleeping. Uh, especially if we have that big snow, they won't. They, they none of them be out. Not even the wild ones. Happy birthday, rabbit lover.
grow a beard for Christmas. No, I'm not growing a beard. I could, I never ever I ne I never even tried. Uh, happy birthday, Rabbit. Joanne Wheeler. Montana's has great food. They do. You don't have to buy a steak. They got other stuff there, too. <clears throat> I had the fish at uh, Thistle last night, and uh, they gave me an extra piece, so I took that home to the raccoons. Thank you, Irene. Thank you very much. <clears throat> well, those fellas are working overtime tonight. <laughs> the only animals I get in the winter are uh, the deer, and uh, the raccoons will come out in mild days. So I have to keep my deck cleared off all the time, and I have an electric uh, snow shovel for that. And I just plug it in outside and just go back. Or I just do the deck. I don't do the steps. But they'll climb the steps, snow and all. But they walk right across the snow, and they don't seem to be sinking in it. Yeah. You have a Canadian wife, do you, Jeffrey? And she's from, uh, oh, Milton, Nova Scotia. Okay. Yeah. know where that is. <clears throat> what are your plans for Crimson Day? Same as did last year. Sat and looked at Connor. <laughs> yeah. And the year before that. <laughs> yeah. Me and Connor spend our Christmas together. I like being on my own. I, I, I don't mind. I don't feel lonely or nothing. I, I sit and talk to him all day. People might think I'm crazy talking to Cat all day, but I mean... He, he answers me. <laughs> no, I'm not dating. No, uh, my, my dating days are over. <clears throat> Too long in the tooth for that now. I'm just happy to be me with the raccoons and the and the two cats and we get along great. <clears throat> yeah, Dee Dee, I do too. I feel very peace and alone with them, and uh, you know they're good company, and uh, especially Connor, Charlotte not so much. Charlotte's your typical cat, but Connor's very very bright, but he keeps me on my toes. <clears throat> well, you're in Missouri, okay. Uh, I was talking to my friend Susan in um, in Oregon, uh, Lincoln City. There, and she was her and her son were traveling behind behind a Winnebago and had Nova Scotia license plates all the way in, in uh, Oregon. Hi, Alexandra from Glasgow, Scotland. Um, New Glasgow, the town that lives uh, it's near me. That's what it was named after. There, we have a lot of. Uh, names in our province from uh, Scotland. Like we have Loch Lamont, we have uh, Loch Broom and uh, places like that. And then we have a lot of uh, Indian names as well. Uh, sort of half and half. <clears throat> Do the cats like the raccoons? Yeah, they, they don't mind them. They, they don't really pay attention to them. Like They'll see them out there and they don't they don't go sit and stare at them or watch them or anything. They're just so used to them. Hi, Christy Hinckley from Florida. Do you have active beavers? Not here. Not not where I'm at. But I, you know, I know where they are. But yeah, I'll tell you. You got to watch out for a beaver. They can they can be very aggressive. Greetings from Mount Pearl, Ryan Miller. I used to police Mount Pearl. 
I worked, I worked in St. John's detachment and Mount Pearl was part of my area. <clears throat> And do, 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 do. we have people from Russia here now. What drink do you have with your... Uh, I usually get Diet Coke. Uh, they don't have Pepsi products at the theaters. They're into Coca-Cola, so... No, the bear's gone to sleep. Uh, you don't have to worry about the bear. He's One thing about the bears, they go to sleep and they stay asleep. The raccoon's favorite food, um, I give them hot dogs for the video. And then sometimes I do a pasta dish. They get honey nut Cheerios. And uh, they like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, look like little wagon wheels. Um, honeycombs, they like those. Fruit Loops is a big hit. Um, I make peanut butter sandwiches. Uh, I get, last night I gave them... Uh, I had um, raisin bread cut up for them. They like that. And I give them red grapes. They don't like the green grapes. They don't like, I tried them on strawberries, blueberries, different kinds of fruit. Uh, apple, they will eat apple. If there's absolutely nothing else on the deck, they'll eat an apple. Yeah. And hamburger helper, yeah. Yeah, can uh, call a lot of and, uh, yeah, we do Hamburger Helper. And they love that. And uh, my friend uh, Tristana down in um, Strasburg, Pennsylvania, she made some Hamburger Helper for hers. And uh, she said they just cleaned the dishes right up. So, anyway, banana, they'll eat the banana at, like, after everything's gone. And uh, pizza, they eat the topping off the pizza first and then they eat the crust. But banana, I, I cut up bananas and put out there, and they'll, they'll sit there and sit there and sit there. And then once everything else is gone, like all the dry food and there's nothing else left, they'll eat the banana. They're very fussy eaters. Yeah, and the cookies, of course, the cookies, they pull them apart and get the cream out of them. Did the UFO change my religious belief? No, it didn't change me one bit. <clears throat> It was just an experience I went through, and um, I just put it down that, put it behind me. Yeah, and whipped cream, they like that. I put that in little dishes. Uh, this crow here, they won't let me feed it in their mouth like the other ones last year. They used to hang on to the can and suck it out the, the end, but uh, these fellows won't do that. So, anyway. We got 589 people on here. Holy smoke. Yeah. Too much sugar. Um, they don't get cookies every night. You know, they uh, every second or third night I'll give them cookies, but they don't get it every night. Uh, yes, I, I give them peanuts, uh, but the salt unsalted. I buy them at Walmart. You can buy them salted or unsalted. I buy the unsalted ones, and they like them. Yeah. No, I don't drink French. I don't drink wine with steak. I drink Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah. My regular raccoons like Buddy and Woody. Uh, well, uh, Woody, I would say, is three. Buddy is two. Um, Sammy and uh, Scooter are four. They're the oldest. And I, I don't know how old uh, Big Ben is. I would say Big Ben is... I'd say he probably might be five or six years old. He's been around a while. You know. Rod Hilton, how are you? Richard Upton and uh, Gene Basilio, Daniel Page, Wayne Kraft, Pamela Berg, Joanne Wheeler again. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people's names popping up there. Dizzy Bird, <laughs> Helen Sophia. How did you start with the raccoons? My wife started with them. She uh, she was feeding them, uh, oh, before I met her. And, uh, and after she died in 2003, I took over for her, and, and, and it sort of blew up from there. We didn't have that many raccoons, maybe one or two, you know. 
But now I got uh, – this year's not bad. I had maybe 15 at the most. Last year was like 25, 30. Yeah, we celebrate Thanksgiving in October. So Hi, Dee Dee. How are you? Sassy cat. Yeah, there's a lot of different names here. Yeah, the the um, Denise Bright. Yeah, they uh, when they eat the grapes, they hold their heads up. That's so the juice don't run up the sides of their mouth. <clears throat> That's why they do it that way. Well, anyway, it's uh, five o'clock, so I'm gonna get ready and uh, head into Halifax. I got a little bit of a drive to get to the the IMAX, so uh, we'll. Uh, I'll give you, well, I, might, I might be on tomorrow night, depending if we get any raccoons or not. So, oh, Connor's not being starved. <laughs> There's two dishes of food out and two dishes of water out. <coughs> anyway. <clears throat> oh, Kathleen, how are you? <clears throat> That's my sister, Kathleen Chisholm. Um, we were chatting on the phone just before I got here. I called to see if the snow hit there yet. Anyway. Okay, I want to say good night. See Molly Lindquist and Joanne Wheeler. And and um, I want to shut down here. And I thought, well, I don't know if you can see the rest of this place or not. Yeah, it's not a bad, it's a nice hotel. Yeah. Even I didn't, I didn't even have to buy shampoo. They got it all there in the shower, but I brought my own anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll see you later, people. Thank you very much for subscribing and, and keeping track of the raccoons. And so 37 minutes and 51 seconds is longer than I was supposed to go. But anyway, thank you very much, and uh, we shall see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.